Well, many of you were celebrating Labor Day with maybe some, you know, uh, cookout or beer with your friends. Donald Trump, former President Donald Trump, celebrated his Labor Day by raging on True Social and asking why the FBI has not raided or broke into Hunter Biden or Joe Biden's home. Because, of course. So they rifled through the living quarters of my 16-year-old son, Baron, and the loved and respected former First Lady of the United States, Melania. But, pro but despite proven high crimes and treason and just plain common theft, all pointed out in the laptop from hell and elsewhere, they never raided or broke into the house of Hunter Biden, or perhaps even more importantly, the house of Joe Biden, a treasure trove. This is a country that's unfair, broken. We are truly a nation in decline. Uh, now look, it seems like Trump's getting a little bit desperate, considering how on Friday, a Department of Justice filing revealed that over 40 empty classified folders were seized from Mar-a-Lago during the search and seizure back in August. Now, here's the thing. If the folders were empty, and they were, then where did the classified stuff go? Uh, I mean, they, they, again, they, they had already retrieved classified material. Over 300 documents that were classified. Where's, where's the 40? Where's the contents of the over 40 folders? Where did they go? That's an interesting question. Now, I, I don't have the answer to that, but I know someone who does, Donald Trump. Uh, now look, on him, obviously he's dumb and he's not very rich. So, but if you're gonna try to convince me that he was stupid enough to just steal the folders themselves to save a few bucks, as if, you know, that's the defense. Like, oh yeah, you know, uh, Donald Trump, I mean, he took the folders, but he just wanted to save. He just wanted to save a couple bucks on buying, you know, he didn't want to have to run to Kinko's. Uh, or, or Office Max or Staples to go get, you know, a few manila folders. He, so he just took the ones that had classified material in them uh, and took the stuff out and left it there at the White House, which he didn't, um, and then just kept the folders. So he kept them and then kept the cover that said classified on them. What? That would make no sense. No sense at all. Even if you're dumb, it still makes no sense. But anyway, and then he goes on, Trump does, to make a weirdo claims about proven high crimes and treason. Proven by who? What high crimes and treason? What are you talking about? Um, and then... He makes it towards a man, Hunter Biden, in this case, who never served as president of the United States. And some and, and then says, we've got the proof of the high crimes of treason. It just happens to be in Hunter and Joe Biden's house. My source, trust me, bro. OK. Yeah. So, mm. no, no, that's that's not what a desperate person does at, at all. What are you talking about? No, look, speaking of the laptop, right? The laptop, the FBI is on, has, has been in possession of the uh, Hunter laptops. It's the laptop from hell for, what, years now? <laughs> A long time. And look, they haven't found anything that's related to the president, anything related to Joe Biden. So to prove anything uh, that's a high crime or treason, and look, uh, because of that, why, I mean, they haven't needed to raid him. <laughs> and it's because right now there's no evidence of anything that would warrant an FBI raid. Remember, the reason they raided Mar-a-Lago is because they had, uh, a, you know, a, a reason to believe that Trump would try to obstruct justice. Had they not come in, to retrieve those materials. They had probable cause. Now, look, for Hunter Biden, I'm not saying that Hunter Biden did absolutely nothing wrong. 
but it doesn't really matter or, or I should say relate to the presidency at all. His own crimes are his own crimes. It doesn't have anything to do with his dad. And his dad did not obstruct justice to try to stop the FBI from looking into the laptop. He has not abused his authority in that regard. And so the whole thing is just absolutely ridiculous. Now, that said, if there happened to be something, some probable cause, then again, law enforcement would have to go through a series of investigative and legal protocols that would have to be strictly followed before authorities were even allowed to get a search warrant. And it would be very likely that uh, Hunter or, or uh, you know, Joe Biden himself would be working with, alongside or cooperating with the FBI. The, the problem is that Trump did not cooperate with the National Archives, did not cooperate with the people who were trying to get those classified materials. And he had plenty of chances to do so. Plenty of chances to uh, cooperate and just to give back the stuff that he does not own. That said, here comes irony. Coming at you like a freight train. The USA is rapidly becoming a third world nation. Crooked elections, no borders, a weaponized Justice Department and FBI, record steady inflation, highest temperature energy prices, and everything else. And all, including our military, is woke, woke, woke. Most dangerous time in the history of our country. I say Ernie um, because, again, this is some of the stuff he's attempted to, to do, <laughs> attempted to turn this country into a third world country um, by becoming a banana republic, essentially, under, under a fascist. I, that's what Trump is. But again, getting back to that unhinged screed, that, is just, that just reeks of desperation. Right down to the multiple use of the word woke, which basically means nothing. It means nothing. Now, the other point that I want to uh, talk about here is the fact that he looks at all of this, everything, in an incredibly simplistic, childlike way. I got raided. So should Joey. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Hunter Biden. He shouldn't. He, 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 got, he should get raided because I got raided. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. For one, Joe Biden didn't steal anything that wasn't his. Joe Biden didn't obstruct any investigations into him or his son. Joe Biden didn't break the law. Now, again, you, you could come up with uh, legitimate criticisms of uh, Joe Biden is how he's handled things. Uh, and, you know, that's stuff that, again, you could uh, go and, and litigate, you know, in court or the Supreme Court whether or not, you know, certain decisions that he has made or executive actions that he's taken are constitutional or not. But that's what the whole point of our system of checks and balances is all about. But as far as this goes, why would why would the FBI need to raid Joe Biden's house or Hunter Biden's house? There's just no probable cause there. And you can't just go and raid people because you don't like them again. If, the, if it were if it were discovered that there were no classified documents at Trump's Mar-a-Lago, right, at this resort, had the FBI written and they found absolutely nothing, then I would be outraged because that would be absolutely politicizing law enforcement. And I'd be like, what are you doing? What? This is ridiculous. This is clearly you know, an abuse of power, unconstitutional. And I would be saying right now what the right wingers are saying about this. Now, the reason that I'm not is because it is constitutional. They did follow everything by the book and they gave him repeated chances to be able to do the right thing and just return the documents that didn't belong to him. But he didn't. He refused. He even got his lawyers to lie for him. And so that is a major, major problem. And it, again, not the same. There was there'd be no justification for going after your political opponent as what he is suggesting right now. But there is and has was justification for going and retrieving those documents from Mar-a-Lago. And so there is the difference. Now, for Trump, he doesn't see a difference. For Trump, it's all about 
personal vengeance. He's an incredibly petty, disgusting person who will absolutely, if he gets into power again, abuse it.